Welcome back to the garage, boys and girls. Cars in the same place, same video, same pictures. Just kidding. Um, dyno the car about a month ago. Did 386 horsepower and uh, 333 foot pounds of torque at 25 psi. It was below expectations. I wanted to be in the fours, at least 415, 420. Um, so back to the drawing board we go. Part of my problem was I'm using the factory DME and KLR units with some moats, uh, piggybacks, and uh, loggers and tuners on it. And it just sucks. The software sucks. The piggyback units aren't that great. You can't do a whole lot with them. Um, I updated the software on it, and now I can't log anything. So that whole dyno session, I couldn't log. It's just, it's, if you can't log, you can't tune. It's, it's a pain in the ass. So I didn't want to go full blown like two grand for a standalone unit. So I decided to invest in the micro squirt. We got the amped version, has a couple changes compared to the other ones. Um, we've got some Hayabusa coils with connectors. We've got an igniter, a map air temp unit and the connectors for the igniter um, some looming and tape and we are going to make our own we're going to tear out all the stuff over there everything whole engine harness out you reuse what we have to use we're going to have a factory working dash we're going to have boost control done by the micro squirt um, the only thing it's not going to control is the water injection for now i'm going to use the controller for the water injection and i'll just tune around it um, until later on. The nice thing about the, the micro squirt is it does have a CAN network. You can expand off of it if you want. Um, it's going to do everything I needed to do. It doesn't support knock sensing with the way it's set up right now. I don't have knock on that car anyways. I removed the KLR a while ago. We're shooting water meth in there. So next couple of videos are going to be putting that in there. And then it's going to be tuning this. There's all kinds of videos of people using this on everything from bikes to V8s to, you know, drag race stuff. So um, I think it'll suit my need. It's not super expensive. I do have a front crank trigger coming from uh, a company overseas that we'll have to install and make that all work. But uh, a couple of my buddies are using this on their car and, and love it. And I think uh, Tuner Studio is going to be great for uh, tuning. It does support auto-tune and all that stuff. So just a quickie. We're going to be putting that in there. That in there. And it's going to be fun. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.